One of the amazing features of Zotero is its almost magical ability to create references and citations. You can do this in a couple of ways. You can create quick references or you can use it as you're writing your paper. Let's create a quick reference list first. To do this, we'll need to have Zotero up and be in the folder that you need. Select the items you want. I am just going to select the first few articles here. Then you right click and select Create Bibliography from Items. From here, you can select the citation style you need. These are the biggies. If you need additional citation styles, you'll click on Manage Styles and then go to Get Additional Styles. This will take you to Zotero's website where they have almost 10,000 additional citation styles. I'm hopeful that you will be able to find the one you need there. I'm going to select APA, that's the one I usually use the most, and from there you have the option to select an output mode. I want bibliography, that is what your traditional reference list looks like. Citations are what you see in the body of the paper, we'll come back to that in a minute. The output method, I always select copy to clipboard just because this is the easiest and it works the best for me. Then you just click OK. Then just bring up wherever you want to paste your references. This could be a Word document. It could be a Google Doc, it could be a PowerPoint, an email, wherever you need to put these references. Then just hit Control V or Copy and voila! The one thing I have never ever been able to understand about Zotero is that when you're creating quick references it always puts the references to the left of the margin. So I select it and then you just fix the margins as needed. Now this is really awesome, but don't get too excited. As much as I love Zotero, it always makes at least a couple mistakes. So it's a good idea to look through the reference list and identify any potential issues and make sure you fix them. So the quick references are great, especially when you just need something really fast, but Zotero can do so much more. By installing the word processing plugin, you can insert in-text citations and build your bibliography as you're writing your paper. In order for this to work, you just need to make sure that the word processing plugin is installed. To do this, you go to Edit and then Preferences. Scroll over to the Cite tab and then select Word Processors. You will click on either install the Microsoft Word add-in or the LibreOffice add-in depending on which one you have. You will know that the add-in has been successfully installed if you go back to Word or LibreOffice and you see this Zotero tab up at the top. In order to insert an in-text citation, click where you need the citation to be. In this case, I need a reference for this sentence and I have one in mind. Then I go to the Zotero tab and then I click on Add or Edit Citation. Once you select the Add or Edit Citation button, this little box will pop up. From here you can search on author names, article titles, book title, journal title, anything that will help you find the reference you're looking for. I am actually better about remembering article names and author names, so I'm going to just type what I remember from the article title, which has to do with library anxiety. And the one I need is this bottom one. So once you do that, it's going to pop up looking like the in-text citation. From here, you can add additional citations, or if you're done, you just select Enter. And there it appears. Hooray! And that is really almost all there is to it. You can just continue to write your paper, inserting citations as you go. There is another way to insert citations. This is really helpful if you have multiple citations, like this bottom one. So I'm going to delete this and we're going to redo it. So you see how that looks. So I'm going to add a citation and then I'm going to select this classic view. I found that by clicking on the little Z, then I'm going to go to classic view. This looks exactly like Zotero. When I am working with a lot of citations or a really big paper, I tend to work with classic view more often just because it's easier for me to stay organized because I can't remember all of the article titles and author titles to insert. This is great because you can go into the particular folder you're working on. You can select multiple articles, one article, whatever you need. A few great things about this classic view. 
The first is that you can include a specific page number. So if you're doing a direct quote and your citation style requires that you include a page number for that, you can include this here. Another thing is that you can suppress the author. That generally happens if you have included the author in the sentence already. You don't really want or need to have the author in the citation. You just maybe want the page number or date, so you can suppress the author. The last feature in this classic view that I really like is this multiple sources. So if I have one sentence or a paragraph or some entry that has multiple sources that need to be cited, select that multiple sources and then just include these as you go. Then click OK. And they all get included just like that. Super cool. The next step is to build your reference list. You can either do this as you're writing your paper or you can wait till the very end. Totally up to you. You will go to a new page, title it references or whatever it is your citation style asks you to title it. Then all you need to do is click on the add or edit bibliography. Just like that, there's your reference list. The really great part about this is that Zotero will cite everything that you have included in your paper so far. So in some cases, especially when you have a really big paper, you may end up with things in your reference list that aren't actually in the body of the paper or vice versa. That literally can't happen when you're using Zotero because Zotero is always looking to see what you've included in your paper as an in-text citation. And once you click on that, add bibliography, it will include it here. Super cool. Another really nice thing that Zotero does is it will allow you to build your bibliography. So if you end up inserting additional in-text citations or removing them, all you need to do is click on the refresh and Zotero will update your reference list for you. And it will stay in correct alphabetical order or numerical order if you're using that type of citation style. So what happens if you choose the wrong citation style? You are not hosed, even if the whole paper is already completed. You can change the citation style of the whole paper by clicking on Document Preferences, and then you can go back and change the citation style. So maybe I was supposed to actually be using MLA. I click OK, and then just like that, my entire paper has been updated to MLA. This is nothing short of a miracle. Zotero can help you create quick references and it can assist you as you write your paper. In either case, it should drastically save you time and hopefully cut down on your stress.